So what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be doing a review on the Aunt Jackie's Curl Lala Defining Curl Custard. It looks like this. These are the results, as you can see. I um, absolutely love them. And yeah, so if you guys are interested and you want to see how I transform from this to this, keep watching. Hi guys, first of all, don't even like, so first of all, I just woke up, that's why I look like this. But anyway, so in today's video, I'm going to be doing a curly hair routine slash mini review on the Aunt Jackie's Curls and Coils um, Curl Lala Defining Curl Custard. It looks like this. Um, yeah, I've been wanting to try this one. This one's good. All of their products smell good. I've been wanting to try this one for a while. If you don't know already, I own the blue one. I'll insert a pic somewhere. But um, I, I have the blue one and I really like that one but I wanted to see if this will do, I wanted to see if this will transform my hair because right now, my hair, yeah, my hair is disgusting. So this situation is a two week old braid out. Um, I did a braid out two weeks ago, I haven't washed my hair since, I know it's disgusting but girls with textured hair aren't supposed to wash their hair with shampoo weekly anyway so but yeah I didn't I haven't washed my hair in two weeks um because basically if you don't know if you follow me on my other social media meaning my snapchat especially and my instagram you will know that I moved I've been going back and forth and having my hair in braids was just the most convenient thing for me it's time to wash this I can't preserve anymore so yeah so this is basically the situation um I'm gonna take it down I can't even get it out the um okay so this is the situation <laughs> what this is the situation um the ends are like so dry like they're ridiculously dry right now um the roots are greasy but that's also because of the products I was using um overall it's dry it just feels disgusting my scalp it's so itchy, it's, it's gross. My edges are still laid, you know, they're still still laid. Um, but it's just a hot mess. So I'm basically gonna go from this to my curly, like normal curly hair, and hopefully this can do it for me. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna quickly show you the products that I'm gonna be using to revitalize this, this nonsense. And then we're just going to jump right into it. Okay, so to wash my hair, I'm going to use the Cream of Nature Professional with Argan Oil for Morocco Sulfate Free Shampoo. It just looks like this. Um, it's I've never used it before. It's actually new to me. Um, if you watched my How I Dye My Hair video, I'll insert a link for it down below so you can check that out. You'll know that I love the co-wash. So because I really, really, really like the co-wash, um, I decided to pick up the shampoo as well. So this is what I'm going to be using to see like what it's going to do for my hair and if it's going to keep it nice and clean. And then to kind of help with the whole cleaning thing, I'm going to go in. This is disgusting. I've had it for a while, like a good, almost a year now I've had this. So it's definitely well used. So don't, don't cuss me, but it's this. It's the Vanity Planet um, Scalp Invigorating. Thing is the the vibrating one, so I'm gonna use this to just like get in there. I use this all the time, and if you want a review on it, I'm happy to do it. Like this brush is actually really good, um, so I always use this. And then to deep condition my hair, the um, Curlific Elasticizing Treatment. I'll insert a picture, but I'm gonna deep condition my hair with that while I'm in the shower, and then we will come back. And I'll apply this to my hair and then I'm also going to diffuse my hair because I don't have time to air dry so that's basically the plan so yeah let's just get right into it okay guys so I'm back this is what my hair looks like after it's been washed as you can see it's like super defined and very clean <laughs> something that it wasn't before 
So I'm gonna apply the Aunt Jackie's Curl Lala Defining Curl Custard. I can't remember if I said that already, but yeah, I'm gonna apply that now. So the first thing that I do when putting products in my hair is, oh my hair's soaking wet. But what I do is I um, section it off into four because it just makes it easier for me to apply the product. Um, and my hair, like, it's quite thick naturally, so I want to make sure that all of it is moisturized, like, I don't want to miss any parts. So, I'm going to start off by taking about that much um, to begin with because like, I've never used this product, so I'm not trying to go too heavy with it. Um, so, I'm just going to apply it to the bottom section first. Like that and then what I do is I split the section into subsections and I take a bit more product this is quite watery it's thick but it's not it's like a custard consistency which is what this is a curl custard <laughs> so I'm gonna apply that into sections into subsections like this real quick So I'm just going to do that to all the sections throughout my hair. So I'm going to apply it into a big section first. Then I'm going to split my hair into subsections within the big sections and apply it. And then I'll be right back. I just want to mention that when I get to the back section of my hair, I just grab like the middle piece, the very middle piece, and I bring it forward because I don't like there to be like a part in the back of my head. Obviously, this is not like an in-depth tutorial because I already have a curly hair routine on my channel. So if you want to see how I diffuse my hair and all of that, I will leave a link to my curly hair routine down below so you can get an idea of how I diffuse. I'm not going to show you how I diffuse in this video because like I said I already have a video on that so make sure you go check that video but I prefer, while I'm here I might as well explain, I prefer to diffuse my hair than air dry because in the winter months and in the colder months because one, my immune system is very weak so I'm always ill and two, like I diffuse in general because I find that it gives me a bit more length. Um, versus air drying. Air drying gives me more definition and no frizz but it doesn't give me as much length like my hair shrinks up a lot more when I air dry which is cute but I want length so I always diffuse and plus I like how the product sits in my hair when it's diffused versus when it's air dry. It just sits a lot better for me personally so yeah. to one side of my head as you can see I've got so much like definition from it um, so far well my wet curls have definition so I'm just going to take a bit more product and just scrunch the ends um, and notice how I don't use a comb once I've detangled my hair in the shower I don't use a comb afterwards um, because I don't want my natural curl pattern to be disrupted when you use a comb like it can alter your curl pattern and like I don't like my curls when they're dry to be super clumped because I like volume so I don't use a comb um, I just use my fingers and rake the product through and plus you, would, you to be honest you shouldn't need a comb anyway unless you're transitioning where you're trying to like brush it upwards like this to get your curls to kind of I mean you can kind of see it doing it way to get your curls to like spiral coil but if you're not trying to get that look you don't need to use a comb 
and also if your hair is properly detangled from when you were in the shower then using a comb won't be necessary I don't think unless you want like super clump coils but okay so I'm gonna say about that much now on my hand it's not too much and I'm just gonna apply it on my ear juice Okay, so now that I have all the products applied to my hair, you can kind of see what it's done. So it's given me like a lot of definition, um, like a lot of definition so far in my wet waves, my wet curls. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave it to air dry for about 20 minutes or so, just to give the product some time to set in my hair. And then I'll go back, diffuse, and then I'll come back with my final thoughts and the final result. Okay guys, so I'm back and these are the results after diffusing my hair for about 20 to 25 minutes. Um, but yeah, these are the results from using the Aunt Jackie's Curls and Coils Curl La La Defining Curl Custard. And I have to say, I absolutely love it. Like my hair is elongating. <laughs> my hair is elongating nicely. Um, it is really defined as you can see. I have volume, like my hair is not completely flat and i just love the results like it's so nice i haven't even picked my hair out yet i'm gonna go ahead and pick it out just a bit just to see what kind of but yeah so this is it after being picked out just a little bit on first day here typically I don't like it to be super big because I know that it's going to get massive throughout the week anyway and that's how you get like breakage and knots and all of that stuff that you don't want in your hair so I don't pick it out too much but these are the results I'm absolutely in love with it so right so it says the cow the art Jackie's cow lala delivers long lasting control and definition to cows wavy coils frizzy hair and braid outs moisture rich and blended ingredients so my hair definitely feels moisturized like it's not weighed down at all it's just enough hold to give me definition whilst still being able to be like big and nice and fluffy like my hair's not crunchy it's pillow soft um it smells so, smells smells so good i kid you not like my hair smells amazing but um yeah like i absolutely love this product and i think so far I think I like it better than the blue one but the real test will be when I go outside because the blue one that I have um, is good because it it kind of withstands humidity so I'm able to go out in humidity and my hair won't really go crazy it kind of stay the same but I don't know about this one so I'm gonna have to like test it out a couple of times and let you guys know so if you want to know more about this product and like future updates and stuff make sure you follow me on snapchat um, snapchat name over here but make sure you follow me on Snapchat and also follow my Instagram to see how my hair looks throughout the week and everything because I do post very frequently. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little review. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also make sure you subscribe and click the bell next to it so you know every time I upload a video. And yeah, I'll see you later. Bye. Bitch, you get eight. Bitch, I be covering it, babe. Bitch, I be covering it, babe. You know I keep me a cake.